sometimes delivering exclusively for businesses can be a very profitable, okay? When we talk about delivering business, delivery business in general, whether you have a cargo van, a sprint van, a box truck, or any other vehicle, people are thinking, yeah, I have to deliver for consumers. But B2B is really, really lucrative niche, okay? So here is an overview I really want you to pay attention to. So when we talk about B2B delivery business, you need to understand what the, those deliveries are, okay? So basically, when it comes to B2B deliveries, you need to actually deliver to uh, all kinds of uh, organizations. It could be businesses, it could be hospitals, it can be retail stores and whatnot. In other words, you're not dealing with the individuals as the final uh, as the final recipients. Okay, you deal with businesses, and when it comes when it comes to that, the expectations are totally different. Expectations are totally different when it comes to B two B. If you are going to haul for businesses, you need to understand that there are some challenges. For example, on time delivery. Your company, your your customer will want you to be on time all the time. Okay, we're talking about even if the, the recurrence is daily, weekly or monthly, you got to be on time all the time. Okay, and because in B2B delivery, time slots are usually fixed and tied to a loading and unloading schedule. Therefore, delivery in full and on time, DFAT, becomes the key success metric in B, B2B courier services. Okay, and by the way, welcome back to the show, boss. Really appreciate having you here. So we're having conversations about how to start a profitable B2B delivery business. And you need to understand on-time delivery, but you also need to understand something called over delivery. So delivery in full can be uh, sort of tricky when it comes to B2B. So let, let's say you are going to have a you're going to have a variety of clients, right? You're going to be dealing with uh, regular businesses. You're going to be dealing with uh, warehouses. You'll be dealing with uh, suppliers, wholesalers, distributors. And it's up to you to actually pick the right the, the right niche for your B2B delivery business. Because uh, you don't want to have over-delivery. Over-delivery means what? You are delivering larger quantities than actually uh, than, than actually uh, anticipated. And usually this happens if you are picking stuff from a warehouse. Let's say your client is asking you to go to a warehouse to actually load and unload uh, stuff there. So this could be a problem if you don't have the proper technology. My thing is when we talk about having a B2B delivery business, you need to understand that uh, on-time delivery is important. Visibility is important. Customer service is really key. Customer service is really important because you're dealing with businesses. So you got to be uh, extra careful in terms of your, your interactions. Let me give you a few pro tips here. You need to understand that as you, uh, even before you actually have a, a B2B delivery business, you need to understand that there are some elements that we have actually, uh, we were able to uh, found, found we have found this in the last 10 to 20 years by researching this industry that there are certain things that always work, okay? For example, try to automate the process. Whatever processes you're following in terms of loading, unloading, okay, load scheduling, load researching, or reaching out to to a customer, confirmation, all that, all those things, you need to find a way to automate them because there is a lot of work, believe me. When we talk about the delivery uh, B2B, and it doesn't matter how, because see, it doesn't matter how strong the economy is, how strong or bad the economy is. I mean, w you know, we had COVID a couple of years ago, but delivery business was still booming, was still booming, right? So it doesn't matter if the economy is up and down, okay, uh, up or down. And uh, by the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. What is the topic of today's conversation? I'm explaining to you how to start a very lucrative B2B delivery business, okay? So you, you want to automate processes. You want to use live tracking. Nowadays, you have a lot of apps that allow you to have a live tracking and you don't have to, to break the bank. Okay, we're not talking about like a crazy amounts of money you have to buy, you have to spend. No, we're talking about $5 or $10 a month to actually have proper, uh, you, you want to have an app that allows you to track and trace your orders, the, the orders that you are actually uh, delivering for your B2B customers, okay? And also trying to go paperless, okay? You want to actually uh, have things like a power navigation. You want to have uh, live tracking. You haven't want to have delivery confirmation. Again, when we talk about delivery com confirmation, we're speaking about something that includes partial delivery and over delivery so this is really important okay and so if you are able to have that you don't need to have uh, extra devices such as barcode scanners anymore and you are able to work offline to support all kinds of b2b delivery operations and you need to have that boss you need to have that the next thing i want you to do here is to delegate 
See, the whole thing is that if you have a B2B business, right? Let's just go back to the origins. Okay, you have no idea what B2B delivery is. Okay, you start doing your research. You gotta, you gotta actually plan at some point to bring other people in. You need to hire more staff because you can't do everything by yourself. I just want, I want to get this out of your mind. You're not going to be able to do everything, uh, everything by yourself. At some point, you need to find ways to hire more staff. It could be one person to start with. And then based on how business is booming, you can actually uh, hire more people, but you got to have help. Even if you don't need help for the, dr the driving part, you need help for the back office part. Here is a bonus for you. Okay. The bonus is that you need to actually think about efficiency in your B2B delivery business. It's really important. And again, when we talk about efficiency, we're talking about efficiency in terms of uh, niche, in terms of load scheduling, in terms of uh, order fulfillment, in terms of customer service. This trifecta is really important. Okay. If you want to have, if you want, if you want to start and manage a very profitable B2B delivery business, you want to take care of those things, those things. Okay. When we talk about order fulfillment, what are we talking about? We're talking about you having a system where whereby if, if they give you a package, let's say uh, company A gives you a package to deliver to company B, make sure and company B say you have to go to company C, company D, and so on and so forth. You need to have a, a process in place where you can actually automate all those things, okay? I mean, gone are the days where like, you know, uh, delivery drivers were actually uh, writing on a piece of paper, the, uh, their assignments for the day, you know, the, their deliveries for the day. You, you don't want to do this anymore, especially if you are driving in a very uh, highly populated metropolitan metropolitan area like the tri-state area like the the new york city the new york the nyc uh tri-state area this is kind of complicated okay so you want to automate things you need to find ways to actually automate things this is really important and you need to understand if you want to make money in b2b you need to have a faster order fulfillment so faster order fulfillment local distribution and outsourcing Outsourcing is really key. Outsourcing is gonna is gonna help save your business. Outsourcing is gonna help you uh, get more customers too. But the the most important thing I really want you to remember is customer service. Okay, businesses are different kinds of customers. Okay, and businesses look at things way more, and businesses actually remember way more. Whereby, if you have an individual who who is actually a you know who was actually, who actually forgot how crappy your customer service was a business is not going to forget even worse a business might actually leave you a bad a bad review and which means not only you are losing uh, your current customer but you're also losing gazillions of customers later on because business do talk to each other okay and you might need a referral from your existing businesses to actually gain more customers so it's really important to really think about the best strategy for the best strategy for your b2b delivery business let me give you the approach i want you to follow right now to actually succeed in your b2b delivery business how do you actually create a strong and very effective b2b delivery business how do you actually deliver more uh, more packages more loads to businesses and do it efficiently well hmm this is a good question the first thing i want you to do here is is to think about constant communication so we we're talking about upstream communication and downstream communication you you should constantly be talking to your clients you got to talk to your clients you have to talk to uh, the, the suppliers you need to talk to everybody who is who is involved in the in, in your client's uh, supply chain, okay? And uh, because he, it's not just about you delivering a, a package to company B, no. It's how that package actually uh, interacts with other packages that are going to the same customer or they are going to customers in that area, okay? And uh, so this is really important. By the way, I wanna quickly remind you of today's topic. What are we talking about here? We are talking about how to start a profitable B2B delivery business. What are the things you need to keep in mind if you want to make money from day one, delivering for businesses only? Businesses only, okay? B2B means exclusivity. You're only serving client, business clients. What you wanna do here is that you need to actually offer wide delivery options. What, I, what am I trying to say? You could start with your cargo van. You could start with your box truck. You could start with, uh, with your dump truck. You could start with anything. 
But after a while, you want to actually expand your, your the fleet that you have, and you don't have to buy you don't have to buy you don't have to buy new cars, okay, or new uh, vehicles, new cargo vans. No, no, no. You can actually lease, okay, which is what a lot of a lot of our clients do. They don't actually start by you never want to you, you don't want to own unless that's what you want. But uh, basically, just lease and just maintain the sort of cash flow, and you want to provide visibility. You want to actually find a way. To, you want to find a way whereby uh, customers can actually uh, contact you if need be. Okay, they want to know where their loads are. They want to know that that, that uh, you are on you are on on the on route to delivering their 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 packages. For example, this is really important. Okay, and also you want to maintain good customer service levels. You want to respond quickly to any requests or queries. You want to use artificial intelligence platforms if needed. Okay provide little perks where possible to increase loyalty such as a discount or early delivery for example and you want to ask constantly for feedback boss you want to ask constantly for feedback to show that you value their their thoughts and are always looking to improve and be willing to go the extra mile by dealing with last minute extra or surprise requests okay so here are the steps i really want you to pay attention to right now so the thing you need to do here is that if you want to start see i had to go through all this sort of background the, this sort of foundational information so you have a clear idea of what we're talking about when we mentioned the terms a profitable b2b delivery business this is so important that you have a clear understanding of that part of things okay so you 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 constantly have to find your target market so when we talk about b2b it's a huge market it's a very vast market so it's up to you to say okay i'm gonna i'm gonna work with hospitals only i'm gonna work with retail stores i'll work with uh, regular offices like you know uh, corporate america or i'm gonna deal with uh, let's say i'm gonna deal with the lawyers for example i'm gonna, you need to specialize yourself you need to specialize to specialize in a specific niche at least from the start at the start you, you need to start with a particular sector and then later on you can actually branch out to other sectors it can be ancillary sectors it can be you know like related sectors for example okay and for example you can start as for you can start hauling for uh, hauling or delivering packages for um, hospitals and later on you can expand that to clinics for example to health centers to fitness centers to wellness centers to you can do also uh, university labs and whatnot so this is what i mean in terms of uh, primary and primary secondary and tertiary and you know so all the ancillary sectors okay they are important and you got to have a business plan okay boss i want you to have a business plan for your b2b delivery business you need to produce a business name and logo you need to uh, really uh, explain a lot of things in, in in that document and also try to get the right vehicles again you don't have to buy vehicles here you can actually you don't have to get a loan or whatever you can lease to start with and see the if the business really has uh, some kind of a uh, some kind of options okay because you because the last thing you want is to actually jeopardize your your whole future by getting a business where you have no visibility of what's going to happen you need visibility you got to have visibility this is really really important so do not actually uh, endanger yourself by getting something whereby you're not really you're not really sure that it will work out okay so you want to get the right vehicles you can start with one or two reliable vehicles okay and and just take it from there okay The next thing I want you to do if you want to start a profitable B2B delivery business is to actually consider loan options. If, pull, if push comes to shove and you need to actually have a, you need to apply for a business loan, this is this is possible. This is good because your business plan that you wrote earlier is going to help you. Okay, and also think about establishing a storage space. If you are going to do a B two B delivery business, I mean there are some items that the clients might actually uh, give you and ask you to uh, to uh, deliver the next day. So you need to find a way to actually store this uh, this items if you can't carry them in your car. Let's say because you know that if the item is heavy. For example, if you have a heavy, a very heavy item, and you know that, you, and the, and the client asks you to pick it up the day before and deliver it the next day, you can't just drive it around town like with such a weight. So it's important to find a way to load 
to uh, to actually uh, store whatever whatever you want to store there and choose the right business structure also okay you also want to go you always want to go for alcs those are this is the simplest this is the the most efficient it will help you a lot okay this is really important and one thing i also want to say here is that you want to make sure that you meet all legal requirements okay and so once you do that you need to start marketing your b2b delivery business so you, this could be anything okay it can be anything so but just remember that your marketing strategies will depend on your target market okay and again i, I just gave you the, the example earlier about you actually dealing with pharmacies you dealing with uh, clinics you dealing with uh, health healthcare centers fitness centers okay and and so your marketing strategy will be totally different if you're talking to uh, folks in the medical industry versus folks in the uh, say in the banking industry for example or in the legal industry so if you're speaking to lawyers if you want to advertise your business to lawyers there are there is an entire strategy you need to apply okay and and this is called differentiation this is called adaptation this is called speaking the language that you know your potential customers can understand okay because you're not doing this for yourself you're doing this for the clients who might employ your services might actually uh, pro ask for your services when it comes to uh, b2b deliveries okay and so this is something you need to constantly uh, do so you have a clear idea what your your market is asking for and what you can propose in the process so fantastic so here is a winner for you if you have been make, if you have been listening to me so far, I thank you. I appreciate it, and I want to share with you something very, very good in terms of uh, making money. You need to establish a niche. If you are going to start a very profitable B two B delivery business, you need to have a niche. Why do you have to niche? Why do you have to niche down? Because when you start, you're not the only one. You're going, to, you're going to face so much competition. You are going to have so much competition that if you don't specialize, if you don't actually uh, you know narrow down or zero in on zero in on particular uh, niche you're not going to survive at least in the beginning okay and some of the niche some of the niches you can exploit and venture into when it comes to your b2b delivery business you have luggage delivery you have same day shipping you have high volume pallet shipment you have next day shipping you have commercial package delivery you have international shipping services so you really need a lot of things okay and when we talk about actually a profitable b2b delivery business in terms of the equipment you need you don't you know you don't really need like a <laughs> you don't need to have a vehicle really like you don't need to have a a car okay you can even uh, go by with a with uh with a motorbike oh yeah oh yeah a lot of uh delivery you can start a delivery business with a cargo van a motorbike or a pickup truck Okay, so the ideal vehicle to invest in will depend on your budget, quantity of deliverables, and package sizes. Actually, if you have very heavy packages, chances are you're not going to deliver them via, well, like with a, with a motorbike, right? So those are things I want you to think about. You also need to think about things like cargo ropes, tapes, moving blankets, and straps to hold items securely and protect them. You need to think about hand truck, dolly, or trolley also. This will be very helpful to you. So my point here is that you need to constantly sort of work on uh, the uh, the thing you need to uh, do to actually finalize your uh, B2B delivery business. You also need to you need to uh, take the legal step legal steps that are required to set up your uh, B2B delivery business. For example, the legal structure of your B2B delivery business. Okay, you can register you can register your business as a sole proprietorship, partnership, or a limited liability company, or even a company, just a regular company and make sure that you get a license for your b2b delivery business okay from your state and get yourself a federal tax id number so federal tax id number this is your ein this is important not only for tax purposes but also things like uh, if you have to open a business checking account if you have to deal with uh, net 30 vendors if you need to get net 30 vendor uh, net vendors approve approve you and you also need to think about the general uh, so when we talk about licenses and permits you know if you are going to run a very profitable b2b delivery business make sure you have proper insurance as as, er, as everybody knows i mean you only need one one incident to actually ruin you if you don't have the proper insurance so don't actually put this in the back burner when you start make sure you have the proper insurance this is going to make things very easy for you down the road
Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about how to start up a very profitable B2B delivery business. So I gave you an overview. I gave you a few pro tips. I spoke to you about the bonus, the approach you need to follow, the steps. Okay. And I gave you a winner strategy at the end of the, at the, end of the conversation. Thank you. God bless you. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.